Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we have a, a big item. So I picked it up for 20 bucks. I think it's marked down from 40. I think it was marked down from 40. Usually not my thing, but it was such a kind of a cool big item. I had to grab it. Well, let's check it out. Here's the back of the box. And to give you an idea of scale, we'll grab Trish as usual. So here's a WWE basic action figure. It's a place that's gonna look like if it's upright. All right, let's unbox it. All right, hopefully that is in frame. Well, pretty taped up here. Mm, that's how this really unboxes. What am I doing using, using a scissor? Scissors on triple R. Knives on triple R. Knives are, knives are fun. Much better. Much better. Yeah. It's very plasticky, of course. That's pretty cool. It's got a little bit, a little bit of weight to it, actually. Huh. That's good. That is a good thing. A little bit of weight to it. Go over there. Go over there. Perfect. Okay. Front end here. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. Alright. This is where I can see it. Alright. Instructions. Let's just try to get the flying fox base together here. It looks kind of looks kind of easy. It's on there. All right, now we're set. So there's a flying fox here. All right, there it goes. Hmm, like some gun turns go off. Or somewhere. I'm not really worried about that, I don't think, right now. Must be ten something.
any red tail fasteners. Who are these? Things that have wheels. Very, very tiny. Probably, probably wouldn't hold up to like a lot of use. Character in there. I'm gonna be laying down. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. ah, a little too big. So action figures for them are probably a little bit, a little bit smaller than this. See where they go. Here, here it says. So I found this, like I said, I think I mentioned it, but if not, this was an Ollie's. And then you did have two of them, so if you have an Ollie's in your area and you want to pick it up. 20 bucks, not bad. These look like they actually do fire projectile. It works pretty well. Springs don't feel very super strong, but hey, it works. Well, that's easy. Right here. Right here. for completing the, the flying fox flying aspect the tower part looks a little more um, involved I'm guessing we'll see so we don't know if we're going to do the tower probably not I don't plan on having the tower displayed anyway Mechanism. It just lifts up. Maybe it's maybe it's easy. You set up your crane. <laughs> Got a release hatch. Twenty bucks though. It's worth it, I think. Oh yeah, just twist. Just twist that. Raise your tower up. Huh. Trap door. And then you can put 
accessories down here. I'll stick from this stuff. Uh, more guns. One bag goes back up to lose them. And it looks like it has like a crane hook. Uh, on the back of the box in the picture, there's like a rappel rope. So you can have your action figures repel. This is kind of cool. Got some batterings in there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm satisfied with this box. This is a good. Try to keep everything in one place. So if I do want to finish up the tower one day, I will. See how easy to go back in. Very easy. Close that back up. Flying Fox ready to go. Uh, looks like this might open up. So lots, of, lots of compartments to mess with. I like the, the red windows. Here it is the Justice League DC Comics Flying Fox from the motion picture, I believe. I don't even remember the scene. Thanks for stopping by. And, um, you know, do all the stuff down there. Like, comment. You can check me out on Twitch at random reviews underscore RRR triple R. And we will see you next time. And remember, winning always matters. There, did a bit of a sign off.